Hi, this is Brian with Profitless Media and Post. And today we're going to look at a couple different methods of object tracking inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion using the camera tracker. This is going to be the short version. So if you'd like to see a more detailed version, I'll put a link up above and in the description where you can check that out. And if you'd like to follow along, I'll put a link to this video clip in the description below. So here's our clip and we have this motorcycle going through our scene that we want to object track. The first method we're going to do is tracking the bike as though it's a static object and have a camera move around it. The second method that we're going to use is going to have an animated point cloud with a static camera. So let's take a look at the first method. So what we did was we added a polygon to match the motion of the motorcycle, added that into our camera tracker. Uh, we didn't have any information, so we just used the auto track and then solved, uh, refined the focal length and the errors. And then we ended up getting a 3D scene like this, where we have our moving camera with some static point clouds. Then we exported that out using the export. We just aligned it and exported it out. And we got this. We added a light and some 3D text to kind of match the bike. And you can see here. So we have this animated camera. And our final result looks like this. Of course, the lights need to be adjusted, but you get the idea. Um, so we have this 3D text that matches the motion of the bike. And so in the next method, we use the same camera tracking information. We went over to the export, and the only thing we changed was under export options, we changed animation from animated camera to animate point cloud. Now the gotcha with this is when you first export it, you need to export it as aligned first, and then switch it to unaligned and hit update previous export to make this work properly. So we exported that out and this is what we got. So now we have this animated point cloud with a static camera and you can see here we have our text and light and this is how this ended up. And so we have our 3D text moving through the scene using the animation. This can be really useful when you're doing particle systems. So those are a couple of quick ways that you can do object tracking in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you again in the next one.